Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the man's featherweight division. Well, I'm saying man, but the featherweight division bout between Chase Hooper versus Felipe Calaris. And I see some more here. A lot of parallels. Both guys been getting mopped up in the striking. Um, Calaris hadn't really had it. Got out grappled. I feel like, um, well, he got, um, well, Chase Hooper got out grappled one time. That was about a very odd fight. But yeah, interesting fight right here. But it's kind of like I'm favoring you. It's like more so because I'm not all that high in Kolaris right now. And I feel like if Hooper can make some, you know, decent enough changes in striking, he could, you know, outstrike Kolaris. I don't see no much issue with him outstriking Kolaris in this one. I really don't. Seeing him, he's training hard with him. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson would, you know, he not really releasing too much tape or releasing too much of anything right now. So it's still very, you know, private right now. But I'm bet like, re like you know, reaching on, I'm predicting based on potential. The fact that he's doing what he needs to do. Not the best track, best um, statistics involving that, but I'm leaning with him right here. Don't feel like it's such a big wide margin. I feel like Kolaris, to me, has shown to be the better grappler. Striking-wise, has shown me the better striker. But not much in out of category. Well, I don't know. Like, I like the fact that Hooper is longer, more active, younger. Both of these guys are young. But I feel like Hooper can make the bigger change. But I feel like I'm not really expecting bigger changes for Kolaris. But I'm thinking this go to the city. Now it's gonna be a case where it'll be a very tight matchup, a lot of scrambles, a lot of grappling situations. But Hooper just gonna be more active. That's what I see. Tight matchup. These guys are great strikers. Neither these guys are this or that. And they kind of match up. They got the same similar strengths, similar weaknesses. But Hooper's gonna be a little bit longer, gonna be younger, and is more active. And I feel like the changes and improvements in striking, and also you know been around other great minds, other great fighters. Well, he's not a great fighter himself yet, but been around great fighters. You know. Getting, you know, brushing shoulders and getting that, you know, sharpening his iron. That would be enough to get him a decision. Well, I still see a very, very tight decision. Definitely probably a good one to live bet. So in this one, I got Chase Hooper via decision.